Hey guys, so I'm back with another video and as you can tell by the title, I am doing another wash and go and today I'm going to be using um, some products that I got from my Curlbox, um, the Afro Sheen one, but today I only used two of the products that were in the box. I used the Texture Setting Gel Cream and I used the Nourishing Oil as well to get this wash and go. I did use a leave-in, but I used my Moisture Love Now and Forever Leave-In Conditioner, um, which I applied in my shower, so I did not do that on camera. But I will show you guys how I got this wash and go. But before we hop into the video, make sure you guys are subscribed and your notifications are turned on so you do not miss an upload. Again, thank you guys so much for stopping in and checking out my channel. And yeah, let's hop into the video. So I'm starting off with my hair freshly washed, deep conditioned, and my leave-in already in. Um, and I'm going to be going in with the nourishing oil first after I spritz my hair with some water just so I can dampen it back up a little bit. Um, I'm going to go in with the Afro Sheen Nourishing Hair Oil, which is actually really lightweight and not super oily which is a plus so I went in and apply that to my hair just to seal in that moisture from my leave-in and the water that I sprayed on my hair next I'm gonna go in with the I'm actually gonna break that section down to smaller sections and then I'm gonna go in with the texture setting cream gel which it kind of like reminds me of the Cream of Nature one, but the Cream of Nature one comes in a tube. Um, but I want to say it's giving, it's not like a pudding, but I feel like it's what, honestly, what a gel and a cream would look like together. So um, I'm just going to go in. I don't really use my Tanger teaser throughout this whole routine um, unless it was to detangle with my leave-in. I had just did it for this particular section because my ends were not... Yeah, they were looking a little frizzy but I just went in and applied it and raked it through my hair I did not shingle this time you guys and yeah I'm just gonna repeat this all over my head and then I will be back once all the product is applied
so this is the product after my hair has completely dried and I actually just slept on it I did not stretch it the night before I just sat under my hooded dryer and then just put my bonnet on and went to bed so this is the next day and I'm just gonna go in and section my hair it's super super shrunken but we're gonna go in and fix that with my blow dryer I am gonna go back in with a little bit of the hair oil just to scrunch out the crunch because it definitely had some cast on there um, and I just go in with um, high heat you can do warm heat if you want I go in with high heat first and then I do a cool shot as well once I'm done just to set everything into place after I stretched it as much as I would like um, and yes yeah, so I'm just gonna go in and repeat that all over my head I'm gonna pick and fluff as you guys will see and just get it to the shape that I want and yeah, I will be back with the outro and give you my thoughts on these products. So this is the completed look guys. I hope um, you enjoyed the video. I really liked how it came out. I wanted to do more of an afro-y kind of look and I kind of probably stretched my hair a little bit too much. So um, it didn't come out exactly how I want to but the definition um, and it is really nice. There's no there's no crunch once I scrunched it out obviously um, but I do like how it turned out I can see this getting just bigger and better as the days go by honestly by the time I set out step outside in some warm weather get some humidity on it it'll, it'll, it'll shrink up and get into my little afro but I like how it turned out it actually came out better than I thought I was a little bit skeptical of it um, but I thought it was going to turn out more like how I did my cream of nature watch it wash and go because that was the only other time that I've used a like cream gel this one smelled a lot better though than that one um, and I actually I like it I watched a couple of people doing videos using this and like I feel like people haven't been liking it but I also think that a lot of people have been using the cream um, portion, I forgot what it's called, but there's a cream one that came in the set as well, like using that as a leave-in and then using this. I just kind of, like if you know your products and you know how your hair operates, you would kind of know that that's not, that other product is not meant for that. So if you read the instructions and like kind of pay attention, that product isn't meant to be used as a leave in or like it's too thick to be used under this you get what i'm saying so like you're gonna have some flaking you're gonna have some issues you're gonna have some like build up and stickiness but if you literally just use this obviously i used the oil as well but if you just use this i feel like it came out really really nice um I, that's why i was so skeptical of using it because i feel like every video that i've watched of people using this it ain't been good reviews so i was kind of like 
hoping for the best, expecting the worst. But I liked how it turned out. And yeah, I think it turned out really, really good. I'm definitely going to be using it again um, in some upcoming videos. I mean, not in upcoming videos, just like in my own personal regimen. I'm definitely going to use this again. Um, I really, really liked it. I enjoyed it. I think it came, my hair came out super nice. It feels, you know, not like as soft as my hair has, could be, but it's soft enough. To, and I feel like this wash and go will last me about three to four days. I don't think it's going to last me that long or a week, but I plan on washing my hair after three days anyway. So I'm not really worried about it lasting a whole week, but honestly, I think it could, but I probably won't make it last that long but nonetheless this is how it came out I love how it turned out it's super pretty I feel like super like ready for somebody's barbecue that's not gonna happen because we're all sitting in the goddamn house on the weekend but you know we're gonna get through this anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one bye